Hello everyone, my name is Bob Rucker. I just retired after 30 years teaching journalism and mass communications at San Jose State University. I am happy to be able to talk to you very briefly about the media and how it's dealing with COVID-19, coronavirus. So many of us in the world are experiencing something called pandemic fatigue. We've been bombarded with new terms like COVID-19, we never heard of that before, and PPE. You think somebody's trying to direct you to the restroom? No, that's a safety precaution that has to be taken now. And it's become common knowledge thanks to the media. Most of the media tries to inform and educate accurately. Anyone who tells you otherwise is not telling you the truth. Let me share my screen though and give you some examples of how the media does, however, inflame situations by the way it presents the news. Researchers racing to find out whether it is more contagious, more deadly, and whether the current vaccines work against it. Meantime, President Biden marking a key milestone this afternoon, 50 million shots in arms since he took office. That's half his goal of 100 million shots in his first 100 days, now weeks ahead of schedule. Here in New York, health officials say that new variant carries a mutation also found in the Brazil and South Africa variants that can weaken the body's immune response. And all eyes tonight now on Johnson & Johnson, that FDA hearing tomorrow. Emergency use authorization could come right after, three to four. That report, the last week in February, promises hope that there's yet another vaccine on the way. But one of the things I think the media is starting to look at, and what we normally do, is critically think about what's coming next. And certainly from last year, we've learned a lot, particularly some of the things to watch out for. Now you remember this story about the Lake of the Ozarks party? Well, I should say it made national and international news. Their blog saying they'd be taking precautions, including operating at reduced capacity to allow for social distancing. These videos apparent evidence that wasn't happening. Just how densely packed would you say it was? Like a, a pool that holds 100 people had 200 people in it. <laughs> That's how crowded it was. Passmore says he kept his distance. I didn't want to go jump in the pool. I'll tell you that. I wouldn't have jumped in that pool if there was no coronavirus around. Though others clearly did not. It was mostly young people, I'll say that. And, it looked and when people say that in the media, particularly on social media, online, on television, radio, young people become targeted. I remember my class last fall saying to me, why are you guys picking on us? And it's not so much that, but it is the visualization of truth. This group of people was doing that, but it does not necessarily speak about everyone's behavior. And finally, the thing I want to show you is a special report from Germany, translated in English. They take a look, they take a look at the pandemic fatigue concept and what it really means. Well, these days, it's not easy to find that silver lining on the horizon, right? Especially when you get bombarded with bad news day in, day out. It's time for the media to do better. India added a record number of new coronavirus cases on Sunday. Hundreds of elephants have been found dead in recent months. Being described as non-stop bad news. Country. Is the world really in such a thoroughly terrible state? For countries in the region. Of course, the current coronavirus pandemic is indeed an extraordinary global crisis. But if you take a longer term view, you see there have been many positive trends. Infant mortality has never been lower. And the number of people killed in natural disasters has been averaging downwards. Good news during a pandemic. And yet we rarely hear that in many of our news outlets. Here's what I'd like to do. I invite you to go to my website, profbobsjsu.com, there on the screen. And there's more to that video and several other links that I've posted for you to give you a better idea of how the media, the media is thinking through as we are showing you day-to-day -day updates to inform and to educate. Thanks for your time.